My goodness. Parents ain't even going to want their kids to go play sports. Youth athlete 11 grabs gun from his mother's car before shooting teammates. Sir, there's surveillance footage. Shocking surveillance footage caught the moment. An 11-year-old grabbed a gun from his mother's vehicle and fired on his teammates after they reportedly took his bag of chips. Took his bag of chips. The video released by police Tuesday night appears to show the alleged shooting shooter being chased by one of his teammates following a youth football practice at a park in Alpaca, Florida. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Monday night. The young boy then races to a vehicle in the parking lot and grabs a gun from the passenger seat. Why would his mother have a gun where the kid could get it? For Pete's sake. The Apaca Police Chief Mike McKinley said the firearm was unsecure inside the vehicle. Well, obviously. Here's some surveillance footage. He then walks over to the sidewalk and fires a single shot and another boy who is walking away with his back turned. Now the kid's pissed off about a bag of chips. Yeah, the other kids were probably being little shit turds to him. But he's going to shoot and kill them or attempt to over a bag of chips. Moments later, a woman, believed to be his mother, can be seen grabbing the firearm from the kid's grasp before holding his hands behind his back and attempting to reprimand him in front of their vehicle as others tried to flee. The single shot struck one 13-year-old in the torso while another was struck in the arm. There's a picture. So I'm assuming there's video footage. I don't know if they'll release that because they're underage. 11 years old. My son got shot. He, he hit in the back. A frantic woman told a dispatch in 911 call released by Apaca Police Tuesday night. Noting the shooting had occurred just five to ten minutes earlier. One of the victims was released from a local hospital Monday night while the other is listed in stable condition. Thank God. My son plays sports too. They are both suspected to survive. Police see the altercation began with the two victims. Slapped a bag of chips from the younger boy's hands. The 11 year old has since been arrested and charged with one count of attempted second degree murder. There's another pick. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. As a society, we need to reflect on this. We see this all the time, McKinley said at a news conference. It's a shame no one wants to arrest an 11-year-old by any means, but based on our investigation, we feel those charges are warranted. But he noted, Police are only seeking one count attempted murder against the preteen because police don't feel it was necessary to stack charges on an 11-year-old with no criminal history. For Pete's sake, he shot two people. Stop it. 
this is what's happening everywhere. All over the country. We don't want to charge them. Oh, they only stole $950 worth of food or whatever from the store. We can't charge them. It has to be over 1000 So these stores close. Now this kid shoots two people, and he's only going to be charged with one? One count? Because we don't want to stack charges up on him. This is going to stay with him for the rest of his life. And we don't want that. It should stay on the rest of his life. He's 11 years old. For Pete's sake, he knows better. He knows that gun can kill them. Something's wrong with him. Okay, he's being taunted by other kids. That doesn't give him an excuse to try to kill them. His mother could also face charges for leaving the gun unsecure. Yeah, she should be charged. Residents say Monday night shooting points to a larger issue in the community. Over the last month, all the violence that's taken place in our area has been with teens. Bishop Kevin Carvis, who used to serve Apaka's Pop Warner as the group's chaplain. These are young people that are that are engaged in violence and think that the way to handle conflict is to hurt someone with a gun. That's what he says. In a statement to Fox News Digital Pro Pop Warner, a nonprofit that provides youth sports across the country said it was saddened by the frightening incident. The scourge of gun violence is even more disturbing when young children are involved. The organization said. Yeah, when we have a culture of not doing nothing about it, as law enforcement, law enforcement conducts its investigation, we are working diligently with the Alpaca Blue Darters Association and the National Office of Pop Warmers to better understand the circumstances surrounding the shooting and to work to ensure appropriate measures are in place to support the program and its members. They need to understand the circumstances. Circumstances are, he got bullied and his mom had a gun and he knew it. That's the circumstances. Our first priority is making sure the boys and girls are all of our teams are protected and feel safe participating in sports that they love. This is sad, and it is a tragedy. But that boy needs to be punished, and he needs to be charged with both crimes. And he, prob and he probably has some mental problems. And he needs to be put away for a long time. Yeah, I don't care. He's 11 years old. He did this. What do you think you're going to do when he's 15, 16 years old? If he could do this now, this is a problem. And his mother? Leaving the gun where the kid could get it for Pete's sake. She needs to be charged, too. There, there needs to be a message sent to young people. You're going to be held accountable no matter how old you are. 
Then have it broadcast through the community. Yeah, they're going to throw the book at him. He's 11 years old. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's not getting out until he's 21. And there you go. That's what's happening.